Hey guys, so we're going to do another type of measurement today using paper clips. And today's measurement, we're going to be using paper clips to measure what is called perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a certain object. So the object we're going to measure first is a stapler. So the perimeter means measuring all sides of an object, where when we measured with our cubes the other day, we only measured one side, the length of one side of an object. Well, the perimeter measures all around it. Now it doesn't mean up, down, left, right, just means the sides, okay? So, show you how, same thing, our paper clips, remember, just like we did our feet, we're gonna measure like we did heel to toe. Our paper clips are gonna be the same way. We make sure that they're touching when we measure. So here's our stapler. So an end to end right there. And we count when we add it all together. So put all my paper clips on here. Okay. There we go. All right, so just one side so far. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the, we gotta keep going though, we're not done. So we do a paper clip here and that only needed one on this side. And then if this side has five and this side of the stapler is the same, the same length, how many paper clips are gonna be on this side? What do you think? If there was five on this side? If you said five on this side, you would probably be correct. Let's put them out there. So one, and I know you can't see it, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then, of course, if there was one on this side, then one right here. Okay, so let me get the camera so you can see it. All right, so all the paper clips are surrounding the perimeter of the stapler. So now let's count them all. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the entire perimeter is five paper clips all around. Let's try something else. <coughs> we have a rock. Okay, so we're gonna measure the perimeter of the rock. And again, remember perimeter, we're measuring all sides of the object. All right, so here we go. And this is a little bit harder because it doesn't have nice uh, sides that go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so looks like it's about two. Let me put that one there. That's about one. And this side's about the same two. And then one. Maybe if I turn it to the other side, it might be easier. What do you think? Yeah, you think that was e that's easier if I turned it around? <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so let's take that. Okay, so let's count them. One, two, mm, three, four, five, and six. So the perimeter of my rock is about six cubes. See there? I'm six cubes, six paper clips. All right, let's try one more object. Set that up back here. Bringing back our glue sponge. Okay, so there we go, have it set. Get our paper clips. Mm, 
Okay. So it looks like it takes about how many that way? Yeah, three. Okay, next going this way. <clears throat> looks like it's about to, maybe if I should just get a little bit closer so it's not so far away. There we go. And if this side was three, what do you think? Yep, you'd be right, three. Get it on there. Okay, and if this side was two, how much is this side? Two as well. Okay. All right. Going ahead and count this up. We have all four sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So that was ten paper clips long. Wow. But I should I didn't I didn't mean to say long all the way around. So it's kind of the shape that it looks like. So now I want you to go and find small objects to measure your paper clips around. Remember perimeter, we're gonna go all the way around the object. And then I think you do have a paper to work on today um, for a perimeter. So go ahead and after this video, find some things to measure perimeter at home and then work on that paper and then take a picture of it and send it to me in class tag about all the different things that you were able to measure today. All right. See you later.